Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to GCTV. I'm Maggie Turner here with Skylar Vell. We would like to say congrats to our boys soccer team for winning against Marshall last night. Check out that trophy. This is our school's first ever boys regional soccer championship. We'll have much more including highlights coming up in sports. Seniors, if you're interested in going to UK, don't forget to turn in the application in for Come See Blue Yourself. Tomorrow will be the last day to turn them in during your lunchtime in the Commons. Your FBLA officers are planning an FBLA, FBLA trip to New York in January. Please see an officer or Ms. Gaddis for more details. The deadline to sign up for the trip is October 28th. Remember, the FBLA meeting has changed from today to tomorrow in the pack. All members should make plans to attend. Important fundraising information and New York details will be discussed. The Future Problem Solvers team will have an informational meeting tomorrow during break in room B07. Anyone interested in joining is welcome to attend. Graves County voters will now head to the polls on Tuesday, November 12th. This means we will be in school on Monday, November 4th and out of school on November 12th. Seniors, don't forget to schedule your headshot at Wells Studio for the yearbook. Wells is open Tuesday through Friday. You can call 247-1851 for your appointment. During the break, we'll share our latest book reviews for We Read Rig. And Michael Hamilton has your sports. Congratulations to our Golden Eagles last night to their huge win against Marshall to capture Graves County's first ever regional title. Our boys battled hard and were rewarded for their efforts with a game 2-1 victory. The game was a nail-biter and came down to penalty kicks. Senior Ty Henley, Marco Flores, Isaac Mars, and junior Hector Garcia came up clutch and scored on their penalty kicks. Caleb Pickens was a wall for Graves County. The senior goalkeeper saved the final Marshall County's attempt to seal the victory. Great win, guys. Our Eagles move on to the state tournament in Bowling Green on Monday. Check out these highlights. Meanwhile, our girls will take on the Marshalls tonight at Marshall for their chance to the state semifinals. We caught up with senior Destiny White for her expectations heading into tonight's game. I'm feeling pretty confident about, about tonight's game. Uh, we've prepared and we're ready and we're going to win. I expect us to all um, play together and play like a team and all give it and give it our all and play with heart. The game starts at 6. Come out and show your support for the Lady Eagles. That's all for sports. For GCTV, I'm Michael Hamilton. High school senior Tyler Miller used to be a nobody. Average looks, average grades, average dysfunctional family. However, once a prank of vandalism on his school lands him in arrest and a summer's worth of hard manual work, he begins to stand out. His new physique attracts the attention of social queen Bethany Milbury, who just so happens to be the daughter of his father's boss, the sister of his biggest enemy, and Tyler's secret crush. This sets off a string of events that leaves Tyler questioning where he belongs with his friends, family, and the world. Though ty through Tyler's experiences, author Lori Hulse Anderson tackles what it means to be a man today and comments on the state of the modern family. The story's exciting narrative and Tyler's relatable situations make this book a joy to read. I give it a 7 out of 10.
For We Read Reviews, I'm Austin Crittenden. Good afternoon, this is Buddy Jackson here with your weather forecast. Today's weather has been and will continue to be mostly cloudy with a big drop in temperatures tonight going into low to mid 20s. So expect a frost when you get up for school tomorrow. Football Friday's weather will be sunny, yet still remaining cool throughout the day with highs in the lower 50s. After the sun sets, the temperatures will drop to the low 30s, so bundle up and keep warm. Saturday will get warmer, however, with sunny skies and the high at 63, and the low down to 37. Well, that's all, folks. For GCTV, I'm Buddy Jackson. For We Read Week, I read The Time Hacker. Dorso and Frank are ordinary high school guys in the future. Ordinary if you consider the techno world they live in, smells and sights from the past can be viewed as holograms. One day a dead body shows up in Dorso's locker. The next thing Dorso knows, he's looking eye to eye with Custer and Beethoven. Frank thinks Dorso's losing it, and so they both encounter, encounter an animal from the past. Soon Frank and Dorso are cast into the past. Sometimes there's no warning at all. Will they be able to solve the mystery of their sudden time travel? Can they survive amidst the battles they are being sent into? Who is responsible and why have they picked Dorsa and Frank? I write this book in 8 out of 10 for read, read w reviews. I'm Michael Rowland. have their cookbooks for sale at $10 a piece. Contact a team member or one of the coaches, Cheryl Hawkins or Tina Nance, to purchase and help the girls raise money. The Powder Puff football game will now take place Sunday, October 27th at 2 p.m. Admission to the game will cost $2 for adults and $1 for students. There will be a small concession stand and all proceeds will go to benefit St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Come out and support your team. All Beta Club members need to come by Miss Robinson's classroom in B08 to sign the Beta Club t-shirt. The Lady Eagles basketball team is selling t-shirts. If you're interested, please see Tracy Taylor at the front desk for an order form. Tomorrow during CCR, we will air a video for all students and teachers which shows how to use the TCA program and use practice ACT results. Free ACT workshops. Morning sessions begin at 7 a.m. Afternoon sessions begin at 3.15 p.m. Today's session is math and will be held in the library. Tomorrow's session is science and BOA. New and good use coats will be given away to students attending Graves County Schools while supplies last. If you need a coat, come to the Community Christian Store at 316 South 8th Street in Mayfield from 3 to 5 p.m. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Services Center for more information. Work on this year's senior video is already, taking, is already underway. Seniors, please email any photos from summer or fall break that you would like to put in the senior video. And you can send them to Bryna Cagle. Her email is bryna.cagle at stu.graves.kyschools.us. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. G for GCTV, I'm Skylar Vowell. And I'm Maggie Turner. And for those of you hoodlums tearing up the boys' PE locker room, cut it out. Nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.